Okay, I just want to talk about initially uh, on this video, uh, enmeshment, uh, attachment, and uh, also the white knight or the rescuer archetype, wanting to rescue people and save people, and uh, levels of consciousness as well. I really do, um, one of the things, uh, you know, I come from addiction background and I've tried to help a lot of people, and this thing of getting over attached to wanting to rescue people. And I think, you know, Dr. Hawkins' work was really, really uh, useful uh, on what happens if I get, uh, if I feel sorry, if, if my, um, if you could say, the rescuer in me wants to rescue somebody. Um, and then when I saw it from what Hawkins was teaching, it was really, really illuminating for me. Uh, so the thing there is, um, and as, as a, as a food addict, uh, addict, you know, the thing to get enmeshed in, in, um, in people, uh, get overly attached to people uh, is quite easy. And uh, also, um, or to anything else, you know, whatever it may be. But just in terms of, it becomes really, really, um, I mean, if you're a coach, if you're um, a spiritual coach, or if you're, any kind of help in the helping profession, when you've got people who you're helping, who have a lot of drama going on, uh, or are suicidal, or are really um, desperate for looking for someone to be their rescuer, to be their savior, to be the person that will, I mean, it's also very interesting to talk about this from the other point of view, people, you know, looking for someone to be your rescuer or your white knight or your knight in shining armor. But um, so the thing with that is if you're, um, and I think in therapy, they call it, uh, I've forgotten the name, but they have a name not to get I I identified over attached or involved with your clients. Uh, to stay in that detached place uh, because they kind of know therapy you shouldn't, you shouldn't really get it attached or emotionally invested otherwise um, they know that everything goes down out the window I'll explain that um, so the thing is like when you're um, so if you're in a good space if you're in a good spiritual space uh, and if you're in a very good spiritual space you're not really identifying with your ego with your thinking and you're not identified with your body, things are in flow, uh, the miraculous is happening, everything's working out, it's like the universe. You're at what I call a high level of consciousness. You're in alignment. You're not personally identified with your thinking uh, or being a savior or looking for a savior or, or rescuing anyone. So in those high fields, those high vibrations, know that the high vibrations are in fact the source of life. The higher the vibration, uh, that you're at, meaning the um, the less personality, the less you're hooked into your thinking and all the drama and all the archetypes within the ego that are not activated. Every archetype that you engage within the ego, which tries to save someone or be rescued by someone, or is in fear, or is in some kind of control, or some archetypal program that's being run run out. You know, you have the male archetype, the female archetype, the white knight, savior, uh, the dark knight all of these funny archetypes, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the, the impoverished artist archetype, whatever it is. Um, so uh, whatever programs you're playing, if you allow these programs to play, then you drop in your level of consciousness. And as these programs uh, become more active, your level of consciousness drops, which actually means that um, you, there, there is less, there is less light. There is less. Um, there is less light being um, emitted by you. You're 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 now a semi-blocked channel of light. So less miracles are going to happen for you, and less miracles are going to <clears throat> are going to happen for others, because you know the ego is activated now. If you become very personally enmeshed or attached with the person, as in, for example, a relationship whatever type of relation, but if you get enmeshed and you become attached, then what's happening there is that there is a vested interest in, um, you know, playing out. It could be there's a vested interest in being the personal savior of this person. I, me, you know, Sabir, 
as a person, I'm going to save you because you're looking to me to be, you're looking to me as a physical person to save you. And so I now feel as a physical person, I should be rescuing you if you're in distress. Now, the problem with, you know, coming from these archetypes, even if they uh, have a good intention, but especially if you have a, an addictive personality, is that as you become like, oh, I'm definitely going to rescue. And as you activate your thinking, and as you get distressed or, or, or involved with the person, your level of consciousness is dramatically dropping. So that person is hoping for you as a human <clears throat> to rescue them, and you as a human in your thinking are trying to rescue them and getting enmeshed with them. But the level of consciousness is now dropping very, very low. So you're not really accessing divine uh, miracles. You're not being a channel of light because uh, you're now in your head you know, playing archetypes or even, you know, activating your head even more to try and rescue them, which even blocks out, it drops your level of consciousness even further. So there's less light for you and there's less light for the other person because, um, you know, the ego is activated too much. And so things become more unmanageable for you and the other person. Also, just my experience is trying to help other uh, addicts. Um, if the uh, person you're trying to help is not seeking um, uh, hopefully a spiritual solution, which is like uh, you know a higher power to be the source of their uh, salvation, but even if they can't, if they're atheist or whatever, even a therapist is useful. If they're not going to that detached, you know, that detached, a detached therapist or someone instructing them on how to access the infinite within themselves, a higher power within themselves, and they're looking to you as a physical person to rescue them, and they're in trouble, they're at a low level of consciousness. If you're, if you're enmeshed, you're at a low level of consciousness, and they're at a low level of consciousness, so it's kind of doom and gloom until they're ready to surrender and seek either therapy or um, God or a higher source. So I then saw that, you know, it, in order to help a person, I have to let go of my investment, my attachment uh, with them. I mean, we know in 12-step uh, fellowships, uh, and it's, you know, if you're a detached sponsor and someone's having, like, you know, having problems, we always know that the solution can't be a human being that rescues you. If you're in, really, if you're in serious trouble uh, beyond a therapeutic age, like Carl Jung said, um, uh, you know, unfortunately, me as a therapist, Carl Jung, trying to treat you, I cannot stop you from addiction. Only God has the power. The human intervention will not work in your situation any longer. So you're either going to die and go to hell or go and find, you know, find a spiritual solution in a spiritual group. Hence was the birth of the 12 steps, which have saved millions of lives. So unless there's that individual seeking of help, it could be a therapist initially, but hopefully God or higher source, then um, that person isn't going to get the need. They can't get it from a human being rescue them. They need more power than what, I mean, the best you can do if you're in a romantic relation is let go of your attachment to them and process them out, of course, in miracles, 12 steps, whatever it is, and until you're not identified. Also, the thing is, if you're, if you become personally, I would just put out something, if you become attached or enmeshed to a person at a low level of consciousness, like someone who's uh, in an active addiction or is clearly uh, extremely mentally disturbed, uh, then one of the things is <clears throat> you can, um, I mean, the ego gets enmeshed because there's too much drama going on. You know, if someone's like one day they're very happy and they're loving, and the next day, you know, they're in trauma, then it, you know, and you become attached to that. It's very easy actually in the world to become attached to people who are in extreme drama, uh, to remain in a high spiritual space with people of a low level of consciousness is, um, you know, it's extremely difficult. And if you do become enmeshed, then um, you haven't got the power to rescue them because you're now being activated. You're being blocked off by the enmeshment, the attachment, uh, the dependency. So, and if they're looking for a human to rescue them, if they're really at a low level of consciousness, uh, you know, a human is not going to have the power if they're really badly low to be the source. So they have to take responsibility, either go to a therapist or genuinely, you know, find a spiritual source to seek salvation in a, in a power which is beyond the human domain, which can 
which will intervene on their behalf and is the, is the ultimate, ultimately the most powerful. So this thing of attachment, if you really want to love someone, you know, you need to cut your attachment, your dependency on them. Uh, it doesn't mean, I'm not saying that you can't be dependent uh, on them, but to the extent you become more dependent and more attached and more enmeshed to a person, your level of consciousness is going down. So actually you're, you're actually of less love and service to them because of that personal attachment. Also, um, if you become attached, you're blocked off from divine intuition. Like with some situations, if you're becoming attached and thinking of becoming a personal rescuer of a person, um, you haven't got that, you, know, you might be, blo be blo blocked off from higher intuition. Like actually, this person has to seek a solution which can't be me. Either they need a therapist or they need to go to a spiritual group or pray or whatever because I just cannot be. So probably the best thing to do might be to, to leave this person. But if you're attached, you'll be blocked off from being able to uh, tie into that intuition. Now you might think, well, I'm personally responsible for them. Uh, without me, they'll die. So actually, there was a person I had who, was, um, who I became attached to, someone I was helping. And I thought, you know, there was this, this thing in me now that was saying, well, you know, they need you. Actually, you know, uh, when the uh, when the cords were cut, found that you know God was quite well quite well at looking after the person. So that that enmeshment distorts the thing that you as a physical person need to take responsibility. Because then sometimes you haven't got that power to take it. So I think enmeshment that enmeshment can be with a person. It can be with things like social media. Um, but, but again, you know, if you allow uh, the drama of social media to engage your ego and the ups and downs of the drama and you get hooked in and you want to have your opinion and your voice, you're allowing a lot of ego inflation. And so your level of consciousness is dropping. So actually, like, let's say you go on social media and there's an activist group about how bad those people are and we're all victims. And let's, uh, let's have a parade to, show, to tell the bad victimizers how badly they're victimizing us. So if you get into that anger, you know, victim perpetrator anger, then actually, um, I think that's what Mother Teresa said, you know, I'd, you know, if, if at all, she would, go on a, she would go on a march for peace, but not for something, you know, which is war or against people. Obviously, uh, she, she's aware that you need to, you know, the, the best solution for the world is the highest vibration, uh, and some, and, uh, which is a peaceful vibration, or maybe even not getting attached or getting embroiled in world drama. I mean, from Hawkins, I often think that the people, I mean, the people who are the, the, the greatest lights in the world are at the highest levels of consciousness, and they may or may not be interested in intervening. Anyway, those are my views, and I'll stop the recording.